Samsung has reduced the bezels marginally and interestingly the bezels will be uniform on all four sides. Now the S22 Ultra the bottom bezel is a little thicker compared to the top one so this is good change. The S22 series was announced on the 9th of February, so the unpacked for the S23 should take place at some point, in early to mid-January. Samsung is one of the few smartphone manufacturers to offer a periscope-style telephoto camera with optical zoom. On its premium phones, the company seemingly wants to double down on and capitalize on its strengths. Nevertheless assuming that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will have sensor shift stabilization technology for the telephoto sensor. It's not entirely clear if Samsung will also want to use this tech for other cameras, but the primary 200 megapixel unit. Regardless the telephoto unit is the one that can achieve 10x optical zoom or 100x hybrid zoom. According to rumors the new 200 megapixel camera will boast 0.6 on pixels on a 1 first 3 inches sensor, with an x slash 1.7 aperture in front. The Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with the less curved display more boxy design just like the Note series, and it will be slightly thicker around 0.1mm. Ones who are interested in Galaxy S23 or S23 Plus then the new renders of the Galaxy S23, and the S23 Plus is also out, and we will see a quite similar design to what we have seen on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Earlier reports have claimed that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset that could power the upcoming Galaxy S23 series has a one plus two plus two plus three configuration. This would include one Cortex X3 CPU core, two Cortex, a 720 CPU cores, two Cortex, a 710 CPU cores, and three Cortex of 510 CPU cores. However, the latest report claimed that the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoC will come with different specs than we know. This piece of information comes from the reliable tipster Ice Universe. According to Ice Universe, instead of two Cortex, a 720 cores a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will feature a pair of Cortex a 715 cores. Qualcomm is believed to be focusing on the energy efficiency part rather than performance with its new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoC. This makes the ultra-high-frequency version of the chipset a much interest to Aliums looking for a chip that emphasizes power over efficiency. Samsung is going all-in with Qualcomm's Snapdragon process for the S23 lineup. And according to the new information from ICE Universe, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will have considerable improvements in NPU which is the AI chip the ISP which is the camera chip and the GPU the graphics chip. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, peace out.